Well, I suppose we can go ahead and start, and we may have a few people coming in as we carry on. Um, my name is Wendy Fenton, and I'm the coordinator of the Humanitarian Practice Network here at ODI. And today, we have the <coughs> honor of hosting a session here to talk about Darfur's deteriorating lifeline, strategies to revive livestock trade in Sudan. And um, I, I hasten to add that we're not just going to be talking about Darfur, we're going to be talking about pastoralism in Sudan more broadly as well. But, uh, you know, the sort of focus of that is in many respects uh, the pastoralists in Darfur. And uh, I think as we all know, livestock is one of Darfur's main economic assets. And it makes a major contribution to Sudan's national livestock and meat exports. But over the last 10 years of conflict, it's been badly undermined. And so today's event is going to outline the impact of conflict on Darfur's livestock trade and the importance of pastoralist livestock production for Sudan's economy. And we're, we've got uh, a distinguished uh, number of panelists here today with us, each of whom is going to give a presentation. And we're going to be focusing, or those presentations are going to be based on or linked to three major pieces of work that are being undertaken by Tufts University or with Tufts as a partner. The first of those is a research study called On the Hoof, Livestock Trade in Darfur, Sudan, authored by Margie Buchanan-Smith on my far left, and Abdul Jabbar Abdullah Fadl, Abdul Rahman Tahir, and Yaqub Aklilu. The second one is Standing Wealth, Pastoralist Livestock Production, Local Livelihoods in Sudan, which is authored by Severio Kretli, who's on my left, Omar Al-Durani, and Helen Young, who's on my right, with Samira Mohammed Ahmed, Osman Mohammed Babakar, Musa Adam Ismail, Abdulazim Hassan, and Azaria El Bushra. So we have, uh, you'll see a number of Sudanese people who have been involved in, in these studies. Um, and finally, um, Helen's going to, to talk about an initiative which is tracking pastoralist livestock mobility in Sudan, from the Bahar to the Jizu. And this is an ongoing longitudinal study, tracking that mobility in the Darfur and Kordofan regions of Sudan. So I'd like to start off by saying that we have an online audience with us today as well. We have about 80 people registered uh, who we think are watching online. Uh, we're going to have 15 minute presentations by each of the panelists and then I'm going to open the floor for questions, comments, discussion with you. And we're hoping that we'll have at least 30 minutes to, to be able to do that. So first of all, I'd like to introduce Margie Buchanan-Smith, who as I said is on my far left. Margie's a visiting fellow with the Feinstein International Center at Tufts University, and she's also a senior research associate with the Humanitarian Policy Group here at ODI. And she's an independent policy researcher with more than 25 years of experience in the humanitarian sector. And she first worked in Darfur in 1987 as an agricultural economics advisor to the agricultural planning unit in the Darfur regional government. And during this time, she carried out a study of the grain market in Darfur and initiated a drought early warning system for that uh, region. And her consultancy research uh, work since then has particularly focused on Sudan and the Horn of Africa. She's currently an advisor to the Market Monitoring and Trade Analysis Project run by the Darfur Development and Reconstruction Agency. And Margie today is going to start off by talking about the the research on the hoof and the findings and recommendations from that. Margie? 